Before we get too involved in this, I kind of want to talk a little bit about my yearly membership. For $39.99 on my website, fullblowncustoms.com, you go there, you click onto it, you go through the membership, you subscribe. For one year, you get to watch all my videos. Now, my instructional videos are the full length ones, they're not the ones like on YouTube here. I don't have any of the YouTube ones on that. These are all full length videos. I'm also doing a behind the scenes with Ed Hubs show that I'll um, actually be doing right after this one. It's on a bike that I got um, that's going to actually be doing roses. We're going to be doing uh, roses and Celtic designs with uh, rose petals going all over the bike. It's going to be a really cool uh, design. It's actually going to be a cool story that I'll be telling about this one. It's for a lady that has cancer. and uh, It's kind of a really heartfelt one that I'm going to be doing, but uh, that, that'll be a cool episode that I'll be doing. And I'm going to actually hopefully be producing at least one video a month, if not two, that will be going on the membership. So you guys will get, like I say, access for an entire year watching all my videos. Well, we're ready to do the front fender. I uh, Google searched human skulls, came up with this skull. And then I did uh, ram skulls, and I came up with a set of horns that I wanted to put on him. So I laid the tracing paper over top, drew out the skull, then I added my horns. I added one side, then I folded it together like this and drew the exact horn on the other side, so now I have the duplicate. Now it'll set up here, and I'll line it up where I want it, and I'm gonna lay either transfer tape, I'm probably actually gonna lay two inch tape down, and then I'm gonna cut the whole outside of this image out, and then I'm gonna flame everything from around it this direction. Then I'm gonna pull this up, and I'll start airbrushing white in around the edges, and then I'm gonna go back in and blue candy everything. As you can see, I got the head all cut out now, and what I did is lay tape down and uh, cut out my design. I actually laid the design down because it wasn't rolling around good enough around the edges, so I laid it down like this, taped it down, then I sprayed black around the edge so I could see where the edge was to cut it, and that's where we're at. Now this is the color of blue that we're going to be using, and I'm going to do a loose fog pattern. I'm going to make sure I get it all around all the horns, the head, everything, and then I'm going to do a loose pattern all the way back with my flame. I have this really over reduced also. You can see the color right here. I've tried moving it back and forth, getting it better where there's no reflection, but I can't get rid of the reflection. We'll just tail them out as I go back. I'm just doing a couple darker um, spots than the others, well actually brighter.
This blue I'm using is actually a blue pearl that I made. What I'm doing, I'll show you. It's going back in and just hitting some of those uh, spots like around where I created these uh, brighter lines. I'm just going back in like this here. I'm just brightening up some of the spots. Now that we have this all established, we're going to go ahead and put a second layer with the same color on top of it and just make it a little bit brighter, leaving the other part back underneath it. Normally from this point I'd go ahead and take the fender and uh, spray my cobalt blue down on it and then put a coat of SG100 over it, but I choose not to do that on this one. I'm actually going to just spray my white right on top of it and then I'll put the cobalt over everything. So we'll start out with our white now. And I'm just going to keep it really bright in the front. one more right here and then I'm going to take it in the booth and I'm going to use my touch-up gun and spray cobalt blue over it. From this point I've removed the mask. Now I'm going to take my stencil, well my drawing, and I'm actually going to cut along this edge here, lay that in, and I'll use my white and I'll spray that edge. And I'm going to just use my black that's existing here as my shadow colors. And then I'll bring the white back around, same here. And I'll start shaping in the forehead and we'll come around the eye sockets, come down in, we'll do the teeth. I'm going to cut out the teeth and do them. And we're just going to use the existing black, like I said, as our shadow color. And then once all that's done, then I'll candy back over there. You see what I've already done with the horns there. Now I've cut out the top above the eye sockets. And we're going to lay this piece back in. And using our reference picture, I'm going to go ahead and follow these lines. Got to get lined up first. Get in there. And then I'm going to hit across the top of the eyes. I'm still going back and forth with black and white. I kind of got a little ahead of myself here without filming it. I apologize. But I went in and filled in with white using, like I say, the teeth. I'd go in here and I'd spray back and forth with black and white. I'm taking black now and just going back in on the eye socket. Alright, let's go get some blue candy on it. Well, there you go. We got the front fender all done. Got about an hour into this project. I just got through spraying uh, uh, the cobalt blue candy from House Color. Now I buy all my products from CoastAirbrush.com. And you'll be able to see finished pictures of this bike on my website, FullBlownCustoms.com. And also my Facebook page. Now, I know I'm making a video promoting my website and my membership. The reason I'm doing that is because not only is it a 
Uh, it's a benefit to me, but it's a benefit to you guys. I mean, there's over 30 videos right now, and the more subscriptions that are purchased, the more that it will allow me and free me up to make more videos. I want to do a ton more videos. There's a lot of techniques out there that I'd love to show you. Now, I'm still going to keep doing YouTube videos. There are going to be a lot of clips out of some of my videos that you'll get a look at. Also, when you go to my website and you look at the video section, now there's a store section where I sell my DVDs, and then there's a video section where you can sign up for the membership. You'll also get to look at free samples of my videos when you go to the um, video section. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and you'll enjoy a lot more than I'm going to be making. What I'm doing now is I'm laying out um, inch and a half tape. This is some uh, new tape that Bob Spina sent me. You can pick this up at Coast Airbrush. It's awesome because it's a lot thinner than other tape, and it, it'll, it'll really lay out good on the side of this uh, fender. Of course, you're still going to get your wrinkles when you're trying to go around the edges, but it's a lot thinner, and you can, you can kind of push them out. Because I'm going to draw my design on here in a second. Now, this is a fender that I already did, and then I uh, was buffing it out and had a towel laying down. So I didn't scratch anything, and uh, of course, Murphy's Law, my buffer caught the edge of the towel, flipped this fender up. When the, flip, uh, when the fender flipped up, it uh, actually hit on my small buffer that I had laying off to the side and chipped a big chunk out of the corner of it. So anyway, I'm going back and redoing it. So this was the second time on this fender. The first time I cleared it. And the first time in 22 years, I actually uh, um, left clear in my spray gun. <laughs> and so I had to use my other gun. And it spit some paint out. So we'll get to center. And so I had to redo it that first time. And when I redid it the first time, I thought, you know, that was a mess. I was going to go ahead and uh, just fix it up and leave it like that. Well, then the second time it happened, it's, it, it's telling me something about you got to change that up. <laughs> so that's what I did. We're going to change the design. There we go. You notice how I jump all over? And the reason I do that is I don't want to just stay in one spot. You try to keep it random. In order to get it random, you just move from spot to spot. At least that's my opinion. It works for me. You know, you got to do whatever works for you. Now, even though I'm going to have the logo going inside there, I don't really care because I'm going to put my logo right back across everything. So I'm going to spray it like I don't even know it's there. So we'll just pick random shapes. It doesn't matter which one you do. And if you notice, instead of pressing straight down, I'm going to roll this up like this. Watch. Instead of straight down like that, I'm going to roll it up like this. Now, what I'm going to do is spray right here, leaving a sharp edge here, and let it kind of just fade out right there. I'll show you again. I'll use a, use a different piece, but I'll show you what I'm talking about one more time. I'm actually raising it up off surface. If you see where my finger's at, it's about half the distance from my finger. See how soft of an edge it gives? Now I'll show you the difference from right there where that soft edge is. I'm going to put this back down and it's going to lay right on the surface. I'm going to sharpen up just the point of it. There you go.